Hi, this is Grandpa from Grammy and Grandpa Read, and today we have another Sesame Street book. It's Big Bird's Red Book. You see it's red all around. What color is Big Bird? He's yellow, right? <laughs> but this is the color red. The story is by Roseanne and Jonathan Cerf and illustrated by Michael J. Smolin. And Big Bird says, Red is a very beautiful color. I think you're going to like it. There we go. This book is going to be about things that are red, like, uh, well, or, um, uh, you know, red things. To, to start off, I'm going to show you what the color red looks like. I've got something red right here in this bag. Something red, something red. That's funny. I know I put something red in here this morning. <laughs> Red is a very, very beautiful color. I think you're going to like it. <laughs> Do you see all the red stuff happening around him? He doesn't even notice. Just hold on a minute. I know there's something red in here somewhere. <laughs> I seem to have s some birdseed in here. Birdseed isn't red. Hey, none of this stuff is red. <laughs> and the big parade going behind him has all kinds of red stuff. I wonder what happened. I was sure I put something red in this bag. <laughs> I guess this is the wrong bag. <laughs> Golly, I must have put all the red things in some other bag. Didn't I have another bag with me a few minutes ago? No? Wait a minute. Maybe that was yesterday. There's the other bag, right? <laughs> Say, I'm really sorry. I'm afraid this book hasn't been as interesting as I had hoped. <laughs> I see all kinds of red things. How about you? Squash! <laughs> what? Did he sit down on the other bag? That's funny, that bag was full of tomatoes. I wonder why anyone would leave a bag full of tomatoes on this bench. <laughs> do you guys know why? I think you do. Because that was the bag that had all the red things. Tomatoes are red. I re remember to smash the like button down below, give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and watch the uh, Sesame Street playlist. Have a great day.